Welcome to JC Stocks and Market Podcast for October 7th, 2023, already October. I'm JC. I've been investing in the stock market for 40 plus years. My intentions with the podcast are to share my thoughts and opinions on some stock and ETF picks with an emphasis on dividend paying securities. I just want to share investment ideas so that you and I can maybe make a buck. Not doing this for money from anyone. The opinions shared here are my own and they're just an opinions. I invest in many of the stocks and ETFs that are featured in these podcasts. Not the one I'm, I'm featuring today, but maybe I'll pick up some if the uh, market uh, does take a dip here. Disclaimer, do your due, due diligence before investing in anything. With that, let's go make some money. Security that we're going to talk about is the Avista Corporation. Uh, they're an electric and natural gas utility company. They operate in the northwest of the U.S. They handle both uh, uh, electric and natural gas as well as natural gas distribution. Um, they also offer uh, some uh some electric services in the city of Juneau, Alaska, which is interesting. Uh, they generate electricity through hydroelectric, thermal, and wind facilities. Um, they also have some venture uh, capital investments, some real estate investments, and a few other investments. This company is pretty old. It's a small company. It's a two and a half billion dollar uh, market cap. It was incorporated in 1889 and headquarters in Spokane, Washington. Some more information I got, this is from Yahoo Finance, a two and a half billion dollar market cap. As you can see, the uh, dividend uh, in yield there is a little over five and a half percent. They pay quarterly dividends. And uh, the target estimate for the uh, corporation itself, even though it's a utility, and utilities have gotten smacked really hard lately, is 39.40. This, this price at 32.37, is a little outdated. Uh, it's a, actually under a little under 32 right now. Uh, the earnings per share too. I put that uh, note there that the earnings per share next year and the year after should be next year about 230 and the year after about 250. So, you know, the earnings are, are good and the PE ratio is a lot less than 17, as you can see, probably more like 14. So it's a profitable company. Um, it's uh, paid dividends for a while. You see, we'll see that later on here. The next slide I'm going to show you is straight from the Avista website, uh, where they they're uh, showing their projected earnings per share, which are a lot higher than what is shown on that Yahoo.com slide. Uh, you can see the mean 23 is 230, 250, and 24, and almost 260 in 2025. So this company is growing. The dividend has been uh, steady and growing for some time. Uh, and it pays a pretty good dividend. And it, it, you know, from what I what I've been looking at, and and what it shows on the, the Yahoo is that uh, hey, it looks like there's this thing is primed for about a twenty percent uh, uh, increase. And, you know, if you look at the targets that that they have, um, especially when uh, when interest rates start falling, the the price per share on these utilities are going to go up. Uh, and you know, the the Fed may cut interest rates as soon as next year. There are a few things that are unraveling in the markets now, especially in credit. Uh, the interest rates are, are, are really uh, hindering uh, growth, um, although the, the jobs market is still good. So it's going to take some time, but these high interest rates, uh, especially since they jacked them up 500 basis points in a year, are really making an impact on uh, economic growth, which I think is going to send us teetering close to a recession if not in recession but i think the fed will have no no choice with a lot of things especially government debt uh business conditions they're going to have to start lowering interest rates when they do that these utilities will increase in share price next shot slide i'll show you is a chart from yahoo.com and uh as you can see what i've annotated it's it's a really ugly chart it's been down 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 for uh since the year to date and that's what the the, the chart is um 35 is a short term but yeah, based on the bollingers and in the you know the stochastic showing that it's oversold you know 35 is short term long term you might look at 40 dollars a share in a year or more i think this could be a, a chance to start nibbling in i'm going to start looking at it myself i don't have a position in it 
But uh, the 5.6% yield has been growing since 1999. So this company is doing doing well. Uh, they're in a lot of uh, interesting uh, markets. Uh, they're making money. They're paying consistent growing dividends. Invista is a pretty good, uh, pretty good company. Take a look at it. With that, I'd like to say thank you for listening. I hope you got a little something out of it. Uh, Avista is a little different corporation than I'm maybe a little little different than what I'm used to uh, presenting, but it might be for you. It, uh, maybe it gives you an idea to take a look at that or some other uh, stocks in the uh, in the utility industry. They've they've really gotten hammered lately. Thank you for listening. The intro and outro song is a song by uh, a band I used to play in, Just One Goat. Uh, I wrote the song. It means a lot to me. Uh, my band members made it uh, really special, and they made the magic. Um, again, thank you for listening to JC's Stocks and Markets podcast. Uh, this is a bi weekly uh, podcast. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you got something out of it. See you next time. She's always there for me It's simple, can't you see? She's the one Oh, she's the one Everything is magical Even when she's not around No, it's not that radical I just know what I have found Well, she's always there for me It's simple, can't you see? So much stronger God, let me stay just a little bit longer She's the one Yeah, she's the one All the-